Brooklyn Diamond and Saranac Beekman Town looking to continue its dream run after upsetting top seeded Peru earlier this week. We'll take it to Saranac Eagles facing the second seeded Plattsburgh Hornets who have had a hot bat of late and it looks like it's going to continue but what a diving grab by center fielder for the Eagles Parker Broden top play nominee potential Hornets bats though would keep going from there almost the identical spot this time to RBI single for Jace Lacey and that's all the room Warren Miller would need. The ace lefty on the mound for Plattsburgh, striking out 10 batters on the day. He helps his team get the banner. He gets the MVP, finishing things off with a Gatorade bath as the Hornets fly on to states. Took a lot of hard work and practice. Uh, coach always told us, you know, there's a time to joke around, there's a time to get serious. And we knew the sectional championship was coming up. We had to get serious. We came into the season with a goal in our minds, and we worked all season to accomplish it. And here we are. So Hornets take home that sectional. Up north, we go to NCCS, though, for the Class D section championship. NCCS taking on, or rather, Lake Placid taking on Crown Point. Uh, right here, it's P.J. Colby on the mound for the Blue Bombers. Absolutely shoving in this one. Getting the first batter on a fastball that time on a curve. Had his way with the Panthers all day long. Blue Bombers with a six run lead in the bottom of the sixth. Always can use some insurance though. That's what John Cato is delivering. Sending a single up the middle. That would be your final score after Van Morelli shuts the door. Blue Bombers taking home the Class D title 8-2 over Crown Point. I mean, business is business. The job's not finished. So we just got to keep keep doing what we know how to do. Let's play baseball. Just go out there and play our best. Just our depth in our pitching and our, our lineup. It's deep. We can everybody can hit. So I think that's why why we're uh, set up to do well. And the Class C sectional finishing up today as well at SUNY Plattsburgh. Top seeded Ticonderoga looking to advance. Taking on NCCS, these two teams matched up once this season. Sentinels took in took that one so the Cougs are going to be the underdog and was looking a little hairy early Lizzie Rich legging out a triple for Ticonderoga but NCCS was clutch all day long in part because of the pitching of Bailey LaFountain one of her two very clutch strikeouts on the day right there and then the defense proving tough for the Cougars as well that's Michaela Bresnahan catching the ball and doubling the Sentinels off at second NCCS Holding them to just one run, they take it 3-1 to one, the final. So disappointing for Ticonderoga. Good news, though, Sentinels are in another section final tomorrow. Class C baseball against Mariah.